Now this is a detached home right here in the Upper Bukit Timah Landed Enclave. Detached has been fully maximised in terms of its build-up at 7,005 with 6 bedrooms and 7 bathrooms. Sitting on an elevated land that's below the $12 million mark you got everything that, I want. that allows you to move in straight on. This just underwent a full A and A just back in 2016 to 2017. Now this is a <laughs> now this is a detached. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> I don't dare to touch anything. <laughs> Full property numbers on this landed home tour. Let's go. size of about 4693 square feet. Right. In terms of frontage, this is 12.2. Mm. Depth, we're at 35.8. It has already been maxed out to two and a half. The land is slightly elevated, so yeah. it's like a cascading land and Sien Tuan is naturally more elevated than Hua Guan Avenue. So definitely we're on higher ground. You have the setback of about two meters. Yeah, from both sides. Yes, we've got the koi pond and the swimming pool at the side. Car porch, this can easily park three cars. Yeah. Four, if you remove and the side garden here. Mm. Hoka is doable, yeah, if you were to do a little bit more renovation. But I don't think you need that because the road line outside, there's no double yellow line on both left and right hand side. Center divider, dotted line, which uh, is a favourite among landed owners. So you can park your cars just right outside if you have visitations or festive seasons. So Beatrice, let's talk a little bit about the design elements. The house underwent a major a in 2016 and was completed in 2017. The owner spent close to 2 million on the a, a Major changes were done to the facade and design of the house. They've also added on the additional attic, the additional third storey. So we had our builder walk through the right. site and he commented that a lot of the build is actually very high spec. High spec. Yeah, I think yeah we would one. say built to very high specification. I mean, if we just look up top, you'll see the timber roofing. This Planning. is very difficult and expensive to do. Mm. And then also, if you take a look outside, you'll see like it has this eye bar mm. design. Yeah, according to the builder, it's one of the, the highest spec when yeah. creating that foil area roofing over your car porch. Yeah. So not many people will choose to use timber to clad under roof. That is a very nice touch. Right. Another architectural detail is this sort of linear design where they've left a little bit of gap on purpose. So this adds like a very nice touch architecturally. If you look at the facade of the building, you'll see a lot of natural materials were used. That is all natural marble. The timber cladding is also on the attic level as well. So yes. in the evening, when the, the down lights and LED lights are all turned on, you have this mixture of luminous light as well as the, the beautiful woodwork as well. So I would say that this is like a modern kind of build. Let's talk about a pool. The material surrounding this koi point, this is granite. The pool is actually marble. So a lot of pools that you see commonly, they use mosaic tiles or they just use regular tiles. But here, they've used marble to create that translucent, very clear waters sort of effect. Right, yeah. right. There's also a center divider uh, with a wooden deck for you to come out to enjoy your koi pond or you want to dip into the pool. It's also accessible from the back as well. Let's move on to this part. All of the window frames and all of the sliding doors in the house, instead of the regular aluminum or metal or steel, mm. they've chosen to use natural timber, right. which is really quite unique these days, purely because it is um, it's a dying trade. It costs more to do. The elements, uh, it's more susceptible to... Weather conditions. Yes. Yeah. And um, that's not just for the front. I think the circumference of the home. This setback over here leads you all the way to the wet kitchen and your yard area. Oh, there's a nice square stone table here yeah, for so you to relax. For a little bit of alfresco dining. And then and it looks beautiful when you look upwards here. Yeah. Uh, with the timber clad highlight of the home from external portion. Yes. 
There's a door here that brings you into your living and dining. Over here, what do we have? This is the wet kitchen. This is entirely built from granite, so it's very hardy, meant to be outdoor use. Towards the back, yeah. that's we hit towards the, the backyard. So you still have like a mini door? I would say about 4 to 4.5 metres of setback here. Mm. So it gives you a lot of space in your backyard. Yeah. They've decked it up with the timber decking. But if you like to do a bit of gardening, you can also do a little bit of gardening as <laughs> well. You have like a, your own little mini shed here. Like a storage Storage. Space. Very nice open view because currently we are elevated. Plus the fact that behind us is a single storey detached. So that gives you a very nice open ventilation kind of view. Water pump is located right here. So if you want to do your servicing for your swimming pool area, this will be the zone. CCTV is already done. This is our security system throughout the entire circumference. So when you come in, a lot of things are plug and play uh, ready for you to use. Why don't we head in from this area? Alright, so this is the granny room on level 1. The interior design theme is very hotel-like. A lot of wardrobe space. If you see, um, this is how the wardrobes sort of yeah. function. Nice. So the width of the room is great. With the queen size bed here, you still have room for a console here. Lots of natural sunlight. Yeah, they've yeah. also done the very nice cushiony bed head uh, right at the back. So flooring will be all the way wooden parquet from yeah. the bedrooms to the entire central zoning here. Not all the confuse uh, our audience, let's switch back to the living room. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Alright, so first up, let's chat about the location. So B, what's uh, interesting about this particular location at Siem Tuan? Parallel to us is Hua Guan Avenue mm. and then also Binjai Park. So from Binjai Park onwards, that's actually D10 already. So we're just on the fringe of D21. To King Albert Park MRT, it's also just less than 1km, so it's about a 10-minute walk. It's also about 815 metres from Methodist Girls Primary and Secondary. You are living in a landed enclave that is triple nine years, uh, which is as good as freehold. The nearest cold storage is actually at Link 896. You can also head to Guthrie House or Cold Storage Trilita. In D21, there's also going to be quite a bit of rejuvenation that's going to be coming up. So with Hume Park MRT, that's coming up in 2025, Jalan Anak Bukit Integrated Transport Hub, Mixed Commercial and Resi. I think why people love living in this part of D21 is also proximity to nature. Bukit Timah Nature Reserve, there's a coast-to-coast -coast trail that's upcoming, the completion of the rail corridor. And downtown is one of the very convenient lines that has been created. It links out to a lot of interchange within this blue line. So you will cut through the upcoming Thompson East Coast line, you the North-South line, you will cut through the East-West line as well. So I think in terms of the connectivity, when your kids head on to tertiary education, most of the very prestigious institutions are really located right here. So I think you're really buying to the Bukitima address. Yes. So meantime, let's have a look at the rest of the place. So you can enter via the sliding doors here. Your main door is actually on the left hand side there. The breadth of the living room is great. And you have full glass panels surrounding your living area. The DB box, the DB box. Box. plus bottom storage. One of the most striking things you'll see in the living room would definitely be the chandelier here. So the chandelier, according to the seller, was a hassle to put in because you'll see the detail right. on the cornice. It's like a curved detail, the moulding. Right. So this was really painstakingly done. For the purpose of Yes, art. and due to the sheer weight of the chandelier, which right. is about 50 to 60 kgs, right. it really needs to be reinforced. So the investment for this chandelier is about 50,000. To put up the chandelier is about how much? Huh? I think about 2,000. 2,000. 2,000 yeah. plus. It's just the cost of labour to, <laughs> to put it up. And this is really a masterpiece right in the middle of the living room. So the living room is also very squarish. In fact, you have two choices on how you want to design the entire living towards the dining and a dry kitchen. Because there's a dividing wall here, owners wanted a little bit more privacy. In fact, there's no television here. I think that's great. 
We have a lot of kids at home, so everybody can really enjoy quality time. So if you want like a full open concept, you can hack down this entire wall and that will then bring you that straight through layout, living, dining, dry kitchen kind of concept. Over here, you sort of have like a secondary seating area, an area where you can have like another credenza or a little bit more storage here as well if, mm. if you want to do up a bit more storage. This leads you out to the pool. Another detail you notice, framing the pool. This is all granite, so usually we we'll use tiles. You'll see that a little bit more commonly, but here they've used solid granite. Right. Yeah. You can also dip in uh, straight on from a dining area. So we're going to head yes. into a dining area. Maybe you join us from the other side. Let's go. As you can see, the dining is huge. Also with another beautiful drop-down light. That links you to this full-on, very huge marble clad top island that gives you the space for three seaters as well as a lot of storage space at the bottom. Mm. So you have the induction cooker here, a nice size sink here. Like Melvin mentioned, this is all marble. So right. you have the seamless veining throughout. So for storage-wise, you have Bosch microwave conventional oven, a lot of pull-outs, and even for the top storage, it's all the way up to the ceiling. The bottom cabinetry system, a lot of pull-outs as well. So I think this is really the highlight for the entire dining and dry kitchen area because you can just cook here, you can chat, then your kids can have their breakfast right here as well. When we come back to the dining space, this is really huge. It's also wide. Privacy is also beautiful because on the right hand side is a solid wall. Left hand side having combination of uh, glass panels but at the same time you have some greenery canopy as well. If you want to put on some pull down blinds, that's also doable but not really necessary. I think the beauty of a detached is that you have both sunlight coming in, permeating into the home. So through this way, you have your yard area, so the laundry area, washing and drying, utility room or the helpers room. So maybe Beatrice, let's chat about the detached price action first. With regards to detached options in the area, we split them up into the categories that we always like to talk about. Older detached houses, so mainly you're buying the land to rebuild. You're looking at a price range of between 8 to 8.5 million. So if you want to build up to say a similar build up like this, 7,005 square feet, about 400 PSF at the moment, yep. that will mean your rebuild cost will be about 3 million. So adding that to 8 to 8.5, you're looking at a range about 11 to 11.5. The second category Degree, uh, we can look at older houses, maybe in the range of like 20 to 30 years old, that require a little bit of ANA. In this area right now, it's between maybe 9 to 9.8 million. Factoring in your ANA costs, based off say maybe a conservative 200 PSF, it will be about 1.5 million. That will bring your overall quantum to be about 10.5 to about 11.3 million. The category where it's pretty new, much like this one, maybe just requires a little bit of uh, renovation or touch up. You're looking in a range of about 10 to 11 million at about 2004 to 2005 PSF. Maybe you'll spend 100 to 200,000 just to do a little a bit of minor touch-ups. Overall Real content up to maybe about 11.2, like 11, 11, yeah. 11 odd million. Finally, for brand new detached houses in the area that you buy from the developer, you're looking at a range of about 14 to 15 million, about 2007 PSF starting from. So the gap uh, from the third category as well Beatrice mentioned to the fourth category is actually a jump of close about three to four million dollars uh, because of the brand new brand new status so this particular home is asking for 11.9 million dollars the land is actually slightly bigger compared to the version that we mentioned because this is sitting on the 4693 square feet land we have observed a lot of the different detached land here to be in the range of about three plus to the low four square feet i think it's also wise to look at some of the semi d's price action movement right here so within here semi d's that are old meant for rebuild is at about seven mil plus minus of course semi these they range from about 2000 plus to some even the high three some even closer to 4000 square feet as well but averagely is about seven mil suitable for rebuild if you price in say 400 dollars per square foot rebuild cost on a 6000 square feet build up that will bring you to about 2.4 million so in totality you are coming in at close to about 7 plus 2.4 and 9.4 second category houses that are above 30 years old suitable for a and a in the range of about 7 plus to 8 million dollars pricing in about 
about 200 dollars per square feet for 6,000 square feet build up area that would then bring you to maybe about 8 odd million dollars and then the third category which is the ones that suitable for renovated kind of condition in the range of about 15 years old renovated ready to move in those are going at about 8 odd million dollars so you price in maybe about three to five hundred thousand you are still going in about less than nine mil and then the third category uh, we've seen some of the brand new brand new semi d's if you're talking about at least a three thousand plus square feet land that would then bring you close to about the 10 mil mark if you're going for a smaller land at about two thousand plus square feet that will still be in the range of about eight to nine million dollars so if we take the semi d's that we have just went through as well as uh, what beatrice has went through for the detached version and then we pluck out this particular home at 11.9 mil that would be very suitable if let's say you are really hunting for the detached status and not a semi d status even if you are looking at maybe a semi d brand new status at close to 10 mil just by going a little bit more on your bandwidth at about one odd million dollars that would then qualify into the third category of a uh, moving condition superbly renovated and in fact this home has just underwent a full A&A &A just about three odd years back in 2017 you are moving straight on you got a full on size 7,500 square feet built out area for detached status and on a huge plot of land uh, along these two lanes which is 4,000 plus closing into about 4,700 square feet meantime I think let's have a look at the home again let's go As we enter up to level 2, you'll notice that the flight of stairs is also done with a very nice design. So this is open concept kind of staircase because there's a lot of airflow beneath the stairs, but it's mainly for design aesthetic kind of feel with a center metal iron bar supporting the entire staircase. And these are all solid strips of timber all the way from the left and right. It's one piece by one piece yeah. that is being brought in. Floating effect. Right. Floating staircase. Floating staircase. And then as you come up to level 2, you are being greeted with this very high ceiling About 7 meters, very beautifully done It's also like a, a nice little viewing gallery from level 3 You have two walkways at the top So you have a little balcony over here that extends off this family area This bookshelf, this is so intricately A lot of detail, done. right? Cup entry alone, they spend close to about 200,000 right. throughout the home. This bookcase alone cost about eight to 9,000. This is veneer. All these details here, this is solid timber. Let's check out the room at the front first. So this is definitely huge enough to be a master but right now it's really like entertainment zone for after dinner gatherings here with your family Also great to have friends coming over, you can use this as a movie room Oh this couch looks really good like ah. a marshmallow Yes, yeah, a marshmallow <laughs> There's something about this woodwork uh, Beatrice that you mentioned This particular veneer originates from Africa Right And it's called the Zebrano because of the stripes mm. So it's almost like zebra stripes so for the flooring these are all carpeted that gives you a very nice cushiony feel ducted icon as well because already pre-done fitted onto the corners of the wall this is like a mahjong table doubling up as a coffee table as well yeah. In terms of the view from here, if you look outwards, that's really lovely because not only do you have a very nice garden right on on level 2, your neighbours also have very beautiful gardens, so the overall view is fantastic. So the balcony area, a great area for you to relax. Very nice landscaping, so you can also put in some nice plants, just do a little bit of landscaping. Looking down the street, you'll notice like how high up we are actually. Right. Yeah, the elevation of our ground, which is great. This framing here is also fully done with marble, so you yeah. get to see that fine detail around this, this very nice circumference. So these two huge plants is going to be left behind for the next owner, beautifully maintained, I think you'll love it. This room has an ensuite, marble tiles on the wall, standing shower, so much vanity space, right. top space, storage underneath. So because this is natural stone, in order to bring out the beauty of the natural stone, we realise that they've laid the tiles not in the usual grouting mm. manner. You know, mm. usually you'll see like the grout lines. Yes. But they've intentionally sort of stacked the marble tiles one on top of another. And to do this, they actually need a metal structure underneath. 
Before I show you the room at the back, there's a room in the center as well. So this is currently used as the children's room. One of the key concepts when the owners did the major a &A was that they wanted the room size to be at least close to about one and a half times bigger than normal room size. So in fact, this is one of the smallest rooms. Is really quite huge and quite big. Wardrobe to this, in fact, this is all spray painted. So this is not laminate. The ensuite here, you have standing shower and then this is all natural stone, mm. um, natural quartz. As you head towards this room at the back, you'll bypass your family area. And then this is like a full-on playroom where you can actually further divide it into your seventh bedroom if you mm. wish. So you can actually partition out this room over here. Right. And this can be an additional bedroom. There's already full on six huge bedrooms yes. in this detached. If you really need a seven bedroom, you can recreate a central foyer, built in two doors, entryway into left and right. One will still be ensuite. You can follow the, the lining along this glass panel here to make it into a partition wall. This room here has actually one of the better views in the house. So we're looking towards rifle range. Because our first story is like their second story, so you'll see like this unblocked view over here. Right. Yeah, and that's where your airflow can come through as well. So similarly, carpeted flooring and then loads of storage space over here. Spray painted cabinets as well. Let's have a look at what's happening the to balloon. Bonita. <laughs> the oh! <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of balloons. Yeah, this is this is fixed to the wall. Oh, this is not so balloons. No, it's an actual light oh, fixture. Wow. Your kids will love it. I think that it's real balloons and then with a real sky. This is really the kids' haven. Yeah. And at this this glass wall is, is a great separation idea. So it sort of separates the two space, but um, it's still one room. Right. So this is like the gym. So when you have a lot of rooms, you can utilize it into a lot of different functions. Let's head up to level 3. So on level 3, you will have two more bedrooms. These were specially ordered and indented from mm. Italy. It has a really different sort of tactile feel. This is one of the rooms with yes. one of the better views. Room size, this is one of the larger bedrooms. Yes. This is every little girl's dream. The entire U-shaped work desk faces towards yes. a beautiful view. Wow, this looks great. And there's a nice there's a little, secret yeah, so walkway. Even for entire level 3 in terms of the common landing as well, it's all done with very nice long strips of timber. So actually from this void area, if you want to do a further expansion, you can get a little bit more floor space. This is very high loft feel, it's really for aesthetics. But if you want more functionality, that's doable. This is really interesting. Hardly you'll see people in Singapore do this because a lot of carpenters don't do this mix right. of material with solid wood. And these handles were also specially ordered from the UK, so solid brass handles. So you have eight panels here. Yeah. This is the only bathroom in the house where you have the step-down shower. Yeah. yeah. The so sunken bath. The sunken bath. Finally, for the final highlight, that would be definitely the master room. So more than half of your floor space on the third floor is actually your primary bedroom or right. your master bedroom. Right, and yeah. this uh, master is divided into three zoning. So the first zoning is like your mini living room area plus your work desk. Second zoning will be your very exclusive walk-in wardrobe space. And then of course the third zoning will be a resting space. Yeah. Sorry, there's one more zoning and of course that's your external roof terrace area. So let's have a look. You can see it's very windy. It is, it is. Really like the fact that it has so many like intangible plus points uh, as we spoke on the parking outside. Because of the fact that most of the homes here are huge, so you will see a lot of cars parking along the street. It's really like on rare occasions where you have visitors. Meantime, let's check out the exclusive walk-in wardrobe space. Yes. to touch anything. <laughs> yeah, so there are a lot of valuable items in this walk-in wardrobe. Similarly, it has that herringbone uh, fabric mixed with the solid wood. 
So again, this is very rarely done in Singapore and uh, these handles as well. So this is like polished nickel handle from the UK. We have a center island here to display all of your goodies. A little vanity over there for you to get ready. Right opposite, that'll be a exclusive ensuite. Wow, I think wow. this is like uh, the size of a bedroom. Yeah, this is... Yeah, so you can put your, your king bed here, <laughs> the wardrobe space. <laughs> It's really the size of a big room. Yeah, they've put like this ottoman here, so you can literally lounge in literally your lounge. in your master ensuite. Nice long bath here. His and hers. Yeah, and this is actually open ventilation. They give you privacy and let they allow for ventilation in the bathroom. Which is why it doesn't feel dense uh, right here. Wow, this is like one of the rare occasions that we see drop down lights in <laughs> ensuite. Because yeah. you have the ceiling height for it and you have the, yeah, and then the space like for it. Speakers uh, within the ensuite as well. It's almost like your little spa sanctuary. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So you notice that you have windows on both sides of your master. In fact, if you open up the window over there and you open up the windows here, you get great crosswind. Alright, so thank you for staying with us throughout this Lander Home Tour at Sien Tuan Avenue. If you like to own a detached home that's below the quantum of $12 million and you don't want to go through the hassle of uh, going through a full-on rebuild from scratch, it's ready for you to move in straight on. What yep. do you think, Beatrice? Yes, and you enjoy a 7,500 square feet of build-up space, six bedrooms, seven bathrooms. Parking three cars, having that huge amount of space and then having that pool that your kids will want to have. Yep. So if you want to have a look at this place, give a call to our listing manager which is Beatrice. She'll be very happy to show the place. Yes. And uh, meantime, take care. My name is Melvin Lim. Beatrice Lim. Property Lim Brothers. Brothers. Always, Always happy, happy to show you the place. place. Uh, Yijiang, sorry, we're going to go You can go up the Don't go Now this is a... <laughs> What's the merry-go-round for? <laughs> So I will turn, I will turn here. Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs>